Well, this is a Chinese elm. Uh, I call it rough bark. I don't think it's a cork. I've seen cork and they are much more corky. Uh, this is about, in fact, I know for sure, it's 10 years that I took out of the ground. Well, you know, I think in the past we talked about Chinese elms and uh, when you have it in cans like this and it comes out the drain hole and you take the can away, the roots in the ground will uh, regrow. Well, what happened 10 years ago, and I remember the 10 year old because we just celebrated my grandson's 12th birthday. And about when he was two years old, he was here to help me. Uh, that's about the only way I could remember dates now. But so. Right. Ten and then, uh, can you see right here? A bulge, huh? And we're gonna see if we could eliminate that. That's why, you know, those of you are serious about uh, bonsai, you wanna buy quality trees especially if it's deciduous, get them in winter without the foliage. So I got rid of that bulge, right? And then I'm wondering if I take this whole thing off, is there going to be enough? Well, we'll see. Okay, this one is going over the top. This one uh, it just come from the bottom. Okay, so I'm finding that uh, trying to do this chapter is difficult because of the camera angle. Well, this branch is not bad, but some of the others are going to be very difficult to shoot. So these that come up. See, and then so we talk about the ramification, right? And this one has all that. But right in here, we got one coming this way and we got this one here. I could take this one off, but if I'm still thinking about removing this, this has to stay. So, you know, there's no straight answer to these. You gotta use a, a, n a number of different combinations to come up with a solution, right? Okay, this one is coming across the switch gear here. And take that off. And well, these that grow along the trunk, everybody knows you just take them off. But so we got this coming in here, right? Mm. Hopefully you see what I'm doing, right? You know, when I used to do some uh, demos on stage, this is the kind of stuff that you could never show people. One or two people could come up, but then the rest of the group can't see anything anyway. So I'm really glad for this um, format. See right in here? I think I'm going to cut it off like this. So this one going to have to stay, at least for now. And then all this stuff there that's starting to cause the bulge, let's go ahead and take them off. So all this stuff that is actually an imperfection is never seen when the foliage is out. I'll do this. Make sure that everything stays tight. And then like these, these are simple ones. I think anybody could do this one right here. But I wanted to show you that uh, this, ha this technique has to be done every so often. Oh, you know, I told you about my 
talking about that Chikai group that meets, and a lot of the members been with me for a dozen years. And I was trying to teach them this technique. Well, you know what? I ended up just doing it because every time uh, we get to one, they say, do I do this and do I do that? And you drive me crazy. So I said, just step aside and I'll show you. And they just kind of watched. But hopefully, those of you watching today will get a hang of this because I don't think you could come out here, right? Okay. Yeah, I think in the future... I might want to cut up across here and then get these to fill in. But you can see that if I did that now, I'll leave a big void, right? But see, this is the only time of the year that we could see this. this so all these that's tending to go up we'll go ahead and remove those you could tell which one came up later because it's a little more vigorous and thicker uh, but I don't know yeah I guess you could see some of this area is becoming multiple so I'm gonna start thinning it out so that we don't run into the bulging problem and things like that so this one is not so much styling as much as making sure that we can maintain what we want. Okay, so kind of jumbled up in here, right? Okay, as I get to the next level, I can't change the camera angle because the bottom is maxed out. Well, I do have one of those booms, but it's hard to set up. <laughs> and then I think, well, I'm not sure whether, if I, well, let's just say that if I set up the boom wrong and put the camera on it and it was not right, then it'll, I'll need to buy a new camera. So, yeah, I, I'd like to buy things, so I did buy it, but a lot of that stuff is hard to use when you're working alone. Uh, most, much, most of the things are set up so that you got a crew and then, you know, specialized people that knows how to work the boom and things like that. So, you're going to have to kind of bear with me. I'm doing the best I can with the lack of help well i guess i could get help but a lot of this is spontaneous like this morning i made a video uh, there was an event at our church so i went took some pictures there and then i'm back and so yeah besides i like working alone because i don't know that one time that we had the professional camera crew with four people. Uh, they tell me to do this, do this. And yes, maybe it was good, maybe not. I don't know. All I know is that it's very expensive to have to hire four people, shoot for what, I think two, I noticed the lady, the camera lady, she put in a third uh, tape. So they were getting into the third hour to make a six minute video. To me, I said, wow, that is inefficient. <laughs> okay, 
So I'm going to have to do this top here. The other day, um, when Sherry was here, we were working on the pine. And uh, I told her, uh, when you get to the top on a mature tree, crown it off. And, well, I know Sherry. She's been with me, what, 30 some odd years now. Anyway, so I go, oh, maybe, I'm pretty sure I explained it, but not everybody catches the first, second, or the third time. What we mean by crowning off on a mature or finished bonsai or niwaki is we make the top rounded, like a, a canopy style, right? And well, if you look at mature trees, when they're young, they have a point. But as it starts to mature, it crowns off. That's what I meant. And um, I didn't catch it at the time, but well, you know, after a while, you get to know a person, and then I knew that was a kind of a puzzle on their face. So I said, you know what? I, I think I'm going to do that again with well, Sherry or other people in my group and then then we'll catch things that well you can't you cannot get me to answer right well I've been saying I do read all your comments but I don't respond to them because if I start responding to one then I have to respond to all of them so I'll try to remember and cover in one of these chapters. Okay, this branch used to be just flat across, but I took something off here, maybe it was this one, and it looked like you needed something in here. So what I wanted to do was to bring this down so that eventually it's down here, kind of take up that space. So this branch, unlike these, are sort of immature. We're trying to get it to do something else, right? As I'm working, sometimes you see this little doggy go by. That's Jackie. Oh, she's a five-year-old Jack Russell about eight months ago she just came and she decided she's gonna stay so I took her to the vet make sure we are all caught up on the shots and things like that well you know those of you that have been following me a long time I have panther right the black cat uh, he passed away Oh, a few years back but see none of these pets of mine I went to look for they just come I mean panther just came one day and he stayed well that one I guess he died of old age uh, Jack Russell here or uh, Jackie the vet thinks she's five and she comes well trained I called and she comes right away Okay, looks like I'm done. So I uh, use the string, pull it down. And on the tip of the one that I'm pulling down, you notice it's unpruned, it's intentional. I want all the energy to go there and elongate. Well, I wanna grow another six inches and then go up. So this is Hero saying, hopefully you got something out of this and my camera angle was sufficient that you could get the idea of what I was trying to say. So anyway, this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. This has been the Chinese Elm uh, Rough Bark. 
because I don't think it's quite a uh, cork bark. 